about her? I don't. <laughs> I'd like to see a mutilisk versus a mortal, right? <laughs> Yeah, but okay, the, the two shot implies they can hit the target, so. But yeah, so my point stands. Like That's basically just PvP. Like, it's constant guessing game and switching the meta around and just trying different stuff, I guess. Anyway, mm -hmm. I, I kind of want to change the topic. I want to know yeah. what you guys think of PvZ and, like, what builds you're doing. Specifically, Flatline, what are you doing, PvZ? <laughs> I do fast thirds into Immortal Templar War Prism, and I just kill every single base. At the same time, or I try to like. Oh, that's All I strategy. do is <laughs> I go to like seven cent. Like I get a quick third, and then I just get up to like seven sentries, and I defend. And then from there, uh, at their once they get a fourth base, I decide to move out. So I just go charge on mortal, and I have a war prism on the other side on the way. And then I just poke and prod with my uh, mothership there. I keep my army there, so he has to be like, oh shit. So he has to keep his army protecting one base, and then I'll have my war prison harassing the other side. I'll have DTs going inside the main or the natural. And then that's where they get really flustered because you usually have everything in one place. And so if they go for any commit, like if they decide to attack my army, I just recall out. If they decide to defend the drops, then I attack in the front. Or I attack the base that my army's at. Just do that over and over. When you say quick third, what time do you take it? Uh, after I chrono boost two stalkers out, like my first two units from my gateway are two chrono boosted stalkers, so maybe like seven minutes. Or wow. Before. So that's really, so, really quick. Yeah, and it, it only goes down if I see him not taking gas. Like if he's going for a spilling open, he can't do it. Yeah. Uh, if they go for a fast or build, then you could do it. Which they should be if you're yeah. forge expanding. Yeah. That's cool. I like that. I I've been. The only really fast third I've been doing is the Void Ray one, right? Where you get the one Stargate, mm -hmm. one Phoenix, and you get your third while you're making Void Rays. Yeah. Um, that one's like solid. This. Yeah, that's. As if that was a, a build that I first. Like, I started using in HOTS because I used it back in Wings. It's pretty damn solid. I don't know if there's a timing where they could punish you when you do that. Yeah. I mean, the hardest thing is you just have to you have to tech to storm really fast, so all your gas has to be going towards that tech um, to the Twilight Council, and you can't skip a beat. I mean, I, that's PBZ though. It's all about the tech timings and making sure yeah. they're spot on. Um, but like we were talking about deer before, like something I do, I just do you know the five Phoenix into quick Robo Bay Colossus third yeah. base. Like De I do deer was just. Right? Oh my gosh. Like, he would do one Phoenix into, like, Gateway All In, like Genius did, or he'll do the five Phoenix into Colossus, or he'll do, like, the Twilight style instead of Colossus. He just did everything. Yeah, that's why it's a good build, because you, yeah. uh, you can really vary it up from there. Like, they could see a Stargate and. Same opener, yeah, with multiple yeah. paths. That's, which is like why I feel like he style. can. Yeah, he. Which is why I feel like he has a good chance of facing or beating Sulky, because he can't get really. He can't get metagame. But they kind of build. You definitely have to all in Sulky at least once. Like yeah, I don't think you're beating him in a macro game three times. Yeah. So. Sulky is pretty good. Uh, anyway, speaking of all ins, do you guys? What all ins do you guys do? Because I don't do any. <laughs> Except uh, maybe like a four game. Wait, wait. You, eight, you eight, play Protoss? Eleven eight, eight gate, baby. <laughs> eleven oh, wow. eight, eight. <laughs> PVP is the only one I do an all in. If I do an all in. Yeah. Yeah, me too. I'm not a big fan of PVT and PVZ all inning. I think PVZ all inning can be good, but I I think PVT all inning is stupid, unless like PVT unless you're metagaming hard. It's super situational in my opinion, or if you know your opponent. I don't think otherwise you have to know because yeah. there's so many like build order counters and it's so easy to defend certain things. Which yeah. okay, we can go into PVP PVT now, but like. If you open Blank Colossus, that's one of the builds where I feel like you can actually decide to go all in depending on the situation of the game, if you open that way. I mean, you can kind of do it with Storm, too. Like, if assuming you're chronoing your upgrades, you can do, like, you know, the plus two Zealot Armor Storm uh, all in if you really shut down hard their first uh, medevac timing. I think that's but, the best all in, to be honest. Yeah, it's pretty good. Yeah. But bunkers and depot walls can, like, stop that. Whereas Blink Colossus, I feel like if they cut so heavily on the Vikings and you shut down their first attack... I feel like that you could just instantly add the gates, and then by the time you get to their base, your gates will be finishing. 
That's kind of like what I was saying before, though. Like, that army, it's hard to micro compared yes. to the Zealots and the Storm at that point. Because Stalkers don't do anything, right? Stalkers are not there to damage anything, really. Stalkers are there for, like, control. And then your Colossus need to kill everything. So if you lose, like, one of your Colossus, it's pretty much... It's not working, you know? And I, I don't think you should ever all in with Blink. I, I, unless, like, something tells you you can. Like, I don't think you should ever plan to all in with Colossus. You know? No, that's why I said it's really situational. Like, it has to be something that happens in the game that makes you realize, okay, I can do this. I mean, I all in Terran sometimes. Like, if you know when Terran, like, they'll proxy, like, their factory and their starport, and they're, like, widow mining everything, and you take no damage? Like, I'll just start chrono boosting Immortals, and I go all in. And they can't hold it. You know what I mean? So that's, like, a situation where you can just all in. Um, so that, that's the only time I'll all in a Terran. They play very greedy with their tech. They're very all in with their tech. You know. Another problem with all in Terran is if they played you before and you've done the all in, like you can get hard countered so easily by Terran. Like I feel like Terran has the easier time even than Zerg shutting down an all in if they know it's coming. Like when we did the Challenger League qualifier, I think all of us played in it. My first round opponent, I did a blink all in on the first game, and then my second round opponent. I did the exact same build, and I forgot to hide match history. And he just looked at it, and I got shut down so hard by, like, two siege tanks. But, I mean, like, whereas against Zerg, you could do, I feel like you could do uh, certain all-in twice in a row, and even if they know it's coming, if you execute perfectly, and, you know, they make maybe a little mistake, I feel like you could still win. Whereas against Terran, I feel like it's impossible to win if they, like, scout the all-in perfectly. I don't know that is, is true against Zerg cool. anymore. I don't know, like, what all-in, if Zerg knows yeah. coming, they can't stop at this point. I don't think, yeah. I think Terrans have the easier one, but yeah. I do think that Zerg should be able to defend an all-in as long as they know it's coming. And the reason why is just because, like, early game, Bunker with Prepare is just too strong, because your DPS in early game is not that high. Well, I think, like, Terran definitely has an easier time, though, because it's like, oh, they're all-inning. Let me make the units that I would make against any composition they send at me, really. You know what I mean? Like, there's a yeah, there's a lot more different all ins that you can send against Zerg, and against every d all in, you need a different set of units to counter that all in. So, yeah, yeah. But yeah, any other points? Any other strategies? Any other builds? I don't know. I'm trying to think. Mm -hmm. I, I played a. Uh, I played a Zerg, right? I just want your guys' opinion on this. This is like kind of... Uh, so he went for Roaches, right? And it was very Roach pressure on Yansu. And he went for Corruptor. It was Corruptor Roach. So... Is this right? No. I'm screwing this up. <laughs> it was Hydra Corruptor with no Roaches. And I was like really confused, because usually like if they go Mutas, I'm thinking they don't get the Corruptors, oh. right? So it was like Hydra Corruptor and he attacked me and I killed his army but he killed every Colossus and it was like a trade and then right after that push like all the mutas came and all the corruptors are already there because they lived and I like died pretty hard to this I don't know if anyone's it's, ever seen this that's yeah, it's, been more it's, common lately I've seen it yeah in pods at least in the it's DRG's build it's a uh, Link Hydra you get plus one plus one uh, for the ground and then you go Ling Hydra, and then if they go for Colossus, you go Corruptor. And you clean up the Colossus, you deal the damage with the Ling Hydras. And then the next follow-up would be uh, Mita's, the Mita Switch, because that's generally when they get five bases. I feel a lot better next. now that you said there's 1-1 one, one Lings. I was like, Hydra Corruptor? You know how easily that would get shut down? Like, five Zealots would kill, like, all those Hydras. Because they you, can't tank damage from saying? shit. <laughs> Dude, Hydras t are glass cannons, man. You can just yeah, clean those up, no problem. If you don't have Colossus, they're pretty good. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, if you don't have Colossus... It, it but not just pure bad. Hydra. I mean, they're still squishy enough that you can... No. Can, can we talk about Yansu and how it's a really bad map against Zerg? Because they decided... What? They put bushes. Do you see? You know the bushes that are right in front of the third? And you can't see past the bushes? So you can't force it's like League of Legends. Yeah, you can't force field, and yeah. you you can't have vision for your range units. So like, it's the worst. It really is the worst. <laughs> I get so I think mad. Yansu is a really good Protoss map in PVC. I just veto it because I hate Terran and Protoss on that map. But that's a really good build. 
Do you see what I'm talking about with the with the bushes? Mm -hmm. Like it's a. I've been having a problem with it. Uh, I mean observer. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what that's else I can say. That's a good idea. <laughs> but which the the third is the one that's horizontal, right? You're not talking about the one that's like below or above the main base, right? Yeah, yeah, the one yeah. where you have to break the rocks. Yeah, yeah, that's. Huh. I don't know. I actually I like that map against Zerg. Well, this is what the build. I'm I feel like it's a good map for timing attacks against Zerg. Huh. It's a really, it's a pretty well, it's a relatively well, short it's distance like from natural to timing, natural, yeah. isn't it? Hmm. Isn't that 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 has like a really short distance between yeah. the natural and natural? Yeah, and so. it gets worse after three bases. Yeah, reserve. Which is why I like it in PVZ. And it's relatively easy to hold your third, in my opinion, on that map as Protoss. I think it's a good build if you're not going Stargate, or not a good build. I think it's a good map if you're not going Stargate. If you're going really aggressive because you're so close and you're playing that kind of style, then I can see it being better. But I'll, well, it I'll just doesn't seem like a good map to go Stargate anyway because. There's not those open air spaces like other maps. Mm -hmm. I mean, I go Stargate because I don't want to see Mutalus, but of course I yeah. see them anyway. <laughs> doesn't matter. Yeah, I gave up on that kind of thing. <laughs> it doesn't change someone's mind. Oh, you're going to Stargate. Yeah. Still throwing down the Spire. <laughs> well, that's because we, so just, we just kill your air units and then snipe the Stargates. Oh, the one I have a big problem is two base meters with Corruptors. I don't know if anybody faced that. Two base meters? Yes, and then corruptors. We just lost Pat. Like, just just having three corruptors, like, so early, it's so hard to engage the, the meters with your phoenixes. Yeah. Well, if you have been phoenix, well, I mean, yeah. and you see that he doesn't have a third base, I mean, I don't know. I feel I'm like yeah. I've like, never you see this. I feel like you should scout the spire early enough that it doesn't. Are you already like going Stargate by the time you see that they're going to base Phoenix, or do you like throw down the Stargate in response to them going like, to base? Uh, what happened? It was like he did like a ten pull something and didn't really work for him, and then proceeded with the two base all, and I pushed out with like my mothership and some gateway units. I feel and like didn't see a third base, and so I threw down a Stargate immediately, yeah. and then I hallucinated, and I scouted a Spire on the way. It's about 50% done. I mean, like, I feel like on two base, it's really hard to get any, like, number of mutas out. Can't you, you don't just... Even know, you don't even know if he's going mutas, though. Like, you don't know if it's going to be Swarm Hose, you don't know if it's going to be, like, well, a two base. Well, true. If you see the Spire, though, I think you should continue scouting, obviously, with hallucination. And as long as he doesn't throw up another tech, like, I don't see any reason you shouldn't go, like, three Stargate Phoenix at that point. I don't know. For, for me... Well, you're only like, on two base, though. So, like, you can't yeah, even get... You can, yeah. you can afford three... Uh, I'll three. never do that. Here's Why wouldn't I... you just stay Gateway and go Stalker Heavy? If he's on two base, he can't yeah. afford to crank out that many Mutalisks. Also viable option. I think mm -hmm. if you're on... I don't know about the Stalker one. Because cause I feel like I can never get out then. Yeah, but you can mm -hmm. defend really easily. Um, well, then he'll span everywhere then. It's map dependent, I feel. Go like. dark. Go DTs. <laughs> <laughs> do it. Uh, Actually, I do that a lot against. Uh... I don't know. I think you could just make enough Phoenix. I used to do it, but then I faced Reborn, and he put the spore and two spines at every base, and he goes Mutas. A jerk. Yeah. But... <laughs> and he makes an Overseer at every single one. It's like, well, that's like three Mutas you're not having, but then that's like. No counter attacks. <laughs> Pretty <laughs> much. Me. You'd have to warp in a ton of zealots, which I mean, you probably should be doing. Like I'm only, I, I'm only okay against the muta switch. I'm not okay against like super quick mutas with a few corruptors, and it's like really hard to engage. So this is why I opened Phoenix because that build just would not work against me. Yeah. Start so early. Uh, so I don't really see it, but I, I don't know. I can see how that would be annoying. Maybe go. I don't know. I feel like you have to put pressure or something. Like, make them make, like, the eight spine crawlers that they're natural and then don't engage. Well, I mean, and if you see the third. spire forming, can't you just move out? Because I assume you pressured yeah, and saved you, your gateway. You usually, usually can't attack. On the way. Yeah, yeah, he already has spines on the way. It's like, if you see, like, four spines, just just four spines, it's like, oh, crap, I don't know if I can do this. Especially yeah, when he sees you move can. out. Because he could just throw down more spines. And yeah, by the time you finish saying, four spines. 
we should make him make the spines at that point. Then oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, yeah, he... Well, he was making he's them going like six to, You can...